Alright, so yes, I have done my Marvel DVD and Blu-ray collection for the year 2023 already. But I wanted to go ahead and redo the X-Men portion of that collection, as I've acquired quite a few new additions in the past few months. Actually, quite a lot of new additions. So today, I'm going to do a updated version of the X-Men section for my Marvel DVD and Blu-ray collection. And for the record, all of these films are on DVD, except for one which is on Blu-ray and 4K, however I plan to get a DVD copy as soon as possible. So now, let's get into the video, starting with where it all began, the original trilogy, X-Men 1. Basic DVD copy, or the special nice slip edition that I picked up. Here is the uh, bonus content, if I can get it out of the case. So here you go. You open it like this, you get one disc, and you get a bunch of little nice artwork here. So if I pull this out, you've got like... Uh, I don't know what that says. Mystique, Wolverine, um, I'm pretty sure this folds out even more. Hang on, let me try and get this whole thing out. Um, yeah, in here you have a chapter list, and that's pretty much it. That's all it is. Um, the other side has nothing, as I can see. Um, no second disc, just the one disc, and that goes back in there. Alright, then you've got X-Men 1.5, the extended cut of X-Men, uh, with some more bonus features, apparently five hours worth. I got this at a Goodwill in, I think it was like Redding, no not Redding, Rockland area, you got disc one, disc two, pamphlet, and yeah, apparently this has an alternative cut of the film that has inserted deleted scenes, but I think they're in the lowest quality possible, maybe? I, I thought they just, like, put them in basic quality. I'm not sure. I'll have to take a look at it. Um, let's see, next you've got X2, X-Men United, DVD, two-disc edition, got this at a DVD store up in, uh, Tahoe last year, you've got disc one and disc two, widescreen edition, pamphlet, um, what's on the disc, and, yeah, there's that. And then, the most unliked out of the trilogy, X3, X-Men The Last Stand, and honestly, yeah, this isn't the best film. Um, I think they did a really good job with the Cure storyline, but with the Phoenix storyline, they really dropped the ball. I haven't even read the Phoenix story, um, but they definitely should have made it its own film here. So, yeah. Bad idea. Anyways, disc, pamphlet, and that's it. Got it at some thrift store in Gridley. Um, the disc works fine. I mean, it's not in the best condition possible, but it works. However, I do have another copy of it. I have this X-Men The Last Stand DVD Collector's Edition, which is a really nice steel case. I bought this for, like, five bucks, maybe, something like that. I got it at a good price, um, and it does come with a alternative copy of the movie. Or not an alternative copy, but a second copy. Um, this one's in way better condition. Disc, pamphlet, and then you got these little things in here. You've got, like... X-Men cards, giant size X-Men comic, 
which ironically is a really small comic, but anyways, um, yeah, no, you get some cool stuff, and then you just put this back on top, and there you go, very nice set, alright, then you have this X-Men Revealed DVD that I picked up at the Opportunity House in Vacaville, uh, this was a very cool find, and it's basically hours of, like, X-Men info for The Last Stand. Um, I think it goes over, like, Fox Movie Channel casting session, um, Life After Film School. Yeah, there's quite a bit. There's also some stuff on, like, the Dark Phoenix comic series and blah, blah, blah. There's quite a bit on here. I would pick this up if you can, but here is the disc and the pamphlet, and I actually think this came out before The Last Stand, um, as like a promotional DVD, but I'm not fully sure, who knows. Anyways, pretty cool edition. Alright, and then X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I do need to get a new copy of, the two-disc edition, uh, but I do have this. Um, yeah, apparently the two-disc edition has more with it, so I will pick that up. But here is the pamphlets and the DVD. I've heard terrible things about this movie. Also, is this still good? I doubt it. It's all the way from 2009. <laughs> I should just walk in and ask if this is worth anything. I don't think it is. Um, no, I've heard this movie's pretty bad, but... I'm willing to give it a try. I sometimes like bad movies. Like, there's some movies where you're like, okay, yeah, I can't enjoy anything out of that. That is a dumpster, which one of these films is definitely that. Um, but then there's those bad films where it's like, okay, I can still enjoy it. And then there's the bad films where you just laugh at them because of how bad they are. Um, we'll see what this one falls into. But, yeah, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Alright, now we get on to the Beginnings trilogy, which they really messed it up with X-Men Apocalypse. Like, holy cow, they messed up everything. Alright, so X-Men First Class. DVD. And actually, never mind, I forgot something, so never mind that point I was going to make. Uh, but yes, First Class, I got it on DVD at the, not the Redwood Thrift Store, was it? Um, it was some thrift store in Fortuna. But I got it for about three bucks, works fine, glad I got it, enjoyed the movie. Um, next, X-Men, Days of Future Past, the rope cut, comes with both versions of the film. I did watch the extended, unrated cut. And, whatever. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to have the disc uh, flying around. Hope the disc is okay. Oh, shoot, it's got quite a few scratches. But the seller told me that there would be some scratches. I just have to make sure it goes back in here. Please tell me that will stay. Please? Alright, there's that. Disc 1, disc 2. Um, long documentary that I watched on the making of this film. Uh, what was it called? Um, Mutant version versus Machine. Uh, eight part making of documentary featuring the cast and filmmakers. Yeah. It was interesting. Alright. And here's that X-Men film I really don't like. And I'm gonna try watching it again, but from what I've seen, this is a terrible movie. X-Men Apocalypse. <sighs> this movie is so boring. They spend the first hour introducing characters. They spend the first hour dedicating part of a plot to Jean because they want to do Dark Phoenix so badly. And they take forever with everything else. This film is not good when it comes to pacing. As someone who wants to become a film editor, 
when I look at this film and I see the opening apocalypse scene, I'm like, with all this other stuff, you could move that scene to, like, the middle of the film because it's basically a teaser trailer for what you'll see in two hours. It is... Ugh, I don't like it. It's so dark, too. Like, what the heck? This film was so badly done. And I don't know who to blame, the filmmaker or the studio. But... Probably both. Alright. X-Men Dark Phoenix. The last one that I have. Got the 4K Blu-ray edition for uh, editing purposes. Let me get this darn thing out. And I do plan to pick up a DVD copy soon because I do want a way to watch it. But here is what is inside the two discs. I really like the artwork on this di disc, the 4K, Blu-ray, it's Blu-ray, um, and yeah. To be honest, I don't use 4K, I don't even see a difference with Blu-ray, but for editing, I was like, yeah, I want the best possible quality. It wasn't even that, I wanted the deleted scenes, and they've started to not put deleted scenes on DVDs. Haven't started. They've been doing it for, like, seven years, and it's getting really annoying. You have to pay, like, $20 to get the deleted material? Yeah, no thanks. Just put it on the normal DVD. Oops. Alright, so that is it for my X-Men movie collection. DVD and Blu-rays. So, what am I going to be adding to the collection? Well, personally, I'm not into Deadpool at all. Too crass and too adult for me. So I'm not going to be getting those. Uh, the Wolverine, I plan to pick up a couple of editions for that film. Namely, the DVD and then the unrated Blu-ray set. Not that I want the unrated cut at all, but I'm picking it up for the extra bonus material. So I want that. Um, I might pick up a copy of Logan. Uh, not that I'd watch it, but to kind of have. Um, and like I said, I'm looking for Dark Phoenix on DVD. I might just order it. I have Amazon gift cards, so I might just go ahead and, like, purchase it, because honestly, it would make me very happy to have all the X-Men films in a watchable format on trips. And to be clear, yes, I can watch Dark Phoenix at home. I have Blu-ray player, I have... Uh, Disney Plus, it's on every other streaming service, but when I go on car trips, if I want to watch the movie, I can't. I don't have any version of it on DVD. I also was looking at the Best Buy Steelbook for, like, display, but I saw how cheap the artwork was, and that kind of scared me off, so I'm not going to be buying any X-Men films really for display. Um, the two that I have I mean, if I find them cheap, sure, but I'm not going to go out of my way. Anyways, that is it. Peace out, and bye for now.